Cynthia Millen has spent three decades as a U.S. swimming official, but she has just resigned in protest over transgender swimmer Leah Thomas of the University of Pennsylvania, who is a biological male that has been allowed to compete against females. Thomas is now dominating swimming events and setting records. In her resignation letter, Millen simply said she, quote, can't support this, and that, quote, everything fair about swimming is being destroyed. Cynthia Millen, Millen joins me now. Cynthia, listen, thank you for joining me on the show, and thank you for your bravery. I guess I'm just curious, what kind of um, response have you gotten since, you know, you resigned um, from your position? Sean, thanks very much. I've gotten a lot of kind comments from fellow officials, former officials, and from parents of swimmers and swimmers. The fact is that swimming is a sport in which bodies compete against bodies. Identities do yeah. not compete against identities. And from the very beginning, when you start out as an age grouper, swimmers are divided by sex and by age group, eight and under, nine, 10, et cetera all the way up because from the very beginning, swimming, USA Swimming recognizes that boys swim differently from girls. And this is just accentuated when boys and girls go through puberty. Boys will always have larger lung capacity, larger hearts, greater circulation, a bigger skeleton, and less fat. Girls go through puberty and they have a double whammy. They not only grow breasts and hips, but they have periods, and they often have a totally different center of gravity. They have to learn how to swim over again. So while Leah Thomas is a child of God, he is a biological male, who is competing against women, and no matter how much testosterone suppression drugs he takes, he will always be a biological male and have this advantage. And it's horrible. The statement for women then is, you don't matter, what you do is not important, and little girls are going to be thrown under the bus by all of this. He's going to be destroying women swimming. Cynthia, so true. And I guess my, my next question for you is, you know, young women who push back against, you know, biological males competing in their sport, they can be bullied. The social media blowback can be great. But you look to, uh, you know, moms across America, moms of athletes, or you look to pro athletes or Olympic athletes who competed in these sports as women to stand up for girls today to compete against other women. Are you seeing that kind of mother support or other kind of athletes in the Olympics that stand up and support this movement to say biological girls should compete against biological girls and biological boys should compete against biological boys? Well, it's, it's great, Sean. I'm getting great letters from dads of daughters and also yeah. moms of daughters. But we're also seeing some past Olympians stepping up and saying, no, this is wrong. We are, we must remember that our Olympic swimming for women was built on great swimmers like Jill Turkle, uh, Shirley Babishoff, Janet Evans, Jenny Thompson, all of these women who worked so hard before Title IX when they didn't have the opportunities that men had. And it would be such a shame, it would be such a travesty to throw it all away now. And this is what will happen. We must face facts. Men are different from women, men swimmers are different from women, and they will always be faster than women. You know, Cynthia, as a, as a father of, not, of, of, of six girls, I have nine kids, six are girls, uh, thank you for standing up for girls uh, to actually have the ability to compete and win when they compete against other girls. And I hope that every, every mother out there, every father out there, every Olympic swimmer or any woman athlete stands up and stands with you to say this is wrong uh, and it's unfair. And thank you for lending your voice to this cause and standing up and, 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 and resigning in protest. You're a great American. Thank you very much, Sean.